once again you are welcome to creative hands platform my today's tutorial is going to be on this unique turban that you can see me turning around here so for me to make this turban i'll be showing you the measurement that would be needed first of all i'll start with the measurement for the base so the base measurement is uh, 17 inches by 10 17 by 10 because i will be uh, pleating it so this measurement of 17 by 10 i'll be using uh, two of it i'll be working with two of it so i'll pleat it separately and then i'll later bring it together cross it to form the the base of course uh if you want to make a straight base the video you saw there or the first the starting of this video the turban you saw is a straight base it's not a v front of course so i'm just showing you the v front because there'll be no need showing you the straight base all right so now i will cover the back of the v that is the base i'll be creating with this particular one and that is measuring about 30 inches uh, by 20, I think 27 or, okay, 30 by 20. So 30 by 20 inches, I'll be using it to cover the back. And later, I will also be pleating with it on, on, on the first crossing. Don't worry, don't get confused. As I continue with it, you will understand each part as i keep explaining all right so to create the ball to create the ball i'll be using eight inches that eight inches is for the uh, wideness and then the length the length so the length is about 46 inches the length is 46 inches four six um i don't think we need more than that if you are going to increase more than that at all at least just say 50 but you not even need uh, the whole 50 so to make the ball i will close this uh the, this measurement i just showed you now i'll fold it into two and then sew it so when i sew it i'll be getting four inches you know it was eight before so i'll be getting four by four by 46 what I have here is twice, twice, the 46 twice, because I want to create two with it. So, but for the normal measurement you need, you just need the four by 46 is okay. So I just want to fill it and then create two. All right. So this is how I will make the base. So to get this, this is the first split that I've created. So I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this particular uh, pleat. I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this particular pleat. All right. I told you before that the measurement I used for the pleat was about a uh, 17 by 10. I think 17 by 10. So you see, I'll just fold it the way you see now, taking about one inch or one and a half inch. And first of all, I'll run it through with my machine. When I'm done running it through with my machine, I'll come back and then start uh, folding it on top of each other. That's what we call uh, the pleats. Is that okay? So I'll come back and start folding it on top of each other. If you cannot use your free hand to just fold and continue to sew, it's not a big deal. You can simply use your office pin to like arrange the the pleat first then after that you you sew when you are sewing you keep removing your pin until you get used to doing it with your free hand so that shouldn't be any form of challenge to you is that okay okay oh uh, yes before i forget the material i'm using is a satin material but it is this uh you know in satin we have different types of satin material this particular one is the is the what do i call it now this is a stretchy uh satin fabric is a is a stretchy one so it, there is this uh, it is elastic in nature you understand so without uh having to attach any 
handle for tying and all sort of that the cap can freely pass through the head because it has the tendency for elasticity it is elastic in nature all right so right now you can see i have uh, both sides of the base ready the reason i made it this way is because i wanted to cross it so i told you i was going to cross so if i wasn't going to cross the way i just made it now is the same process i will use it's just that so it's just that the length will increase instead of uh, me using the 17 by 10 i might just be using about um, 25 i might be using 25 instead of 17 as the length is that okay all right so now i am covering the the bit that i'm covering the band or should i call it yes the band or the base i'm covering it and this is because i will need a part of this turban that will cover my head so for that reason i'll cover it and of course i've given the measurements for what i'm using to cover it now and i told you that it's 30 by 20 30 by 20 because i i, I still want to like split a part of it on this base so it will uh, it will help me to have enough to work with so that's the reason so as it is now i'll just like split a part of it a little bit again on top of this uh, crossed part which i am done doing i did that off camera so yes this part is ready the next thing i'll do is that you can see that of course you can see a straight one so that's why i said i did it off camera so the next thing that I will be doing now is that I will cover the turban. So for me to cover the turban, and since it is a V front, I will ensure that it is at the middle, the center of the, the point of the V that I will fold. And then from there, I will take my measurement. So since this is not a polo material, it's not a scuba material, it is a satin material. And stretchy satin uh, fabrics do not really... They are not so much, they don't have so much elasticity like the polo material. So my length that I use is a little bit uh, bigger than when I work with polo material. So for the closing now, I closed it with 11, 11 inches, which means I closed it exactly the, the size of the edge, which is 22. Is that okay? So because when you fold 11, you fold into two, you get 11, but when you open straight, you get 22. So this is how the turban cap is. Of course, it's so beautiful. I love the color I used for this tutorial so much. This is an off-white uh, satin. I love it so much. And I've told you that it is a stretchy fabric. You can see that it's stretching. All right. So right now, I'll quickly move to how I was able to achieve the balls. And again, I will also be explaining to you how you are supposed to fix it because there is a way you should fix if you do not fix in that way you will not get it right all right so this part of the of the material i told you i covered i used four inches no i used eight eight inches by 46 and then after folding it became four by 46 so i just fill it quickly with fiber and of course you can get this fiber in the market to buy so i just feel it the fiber is almost like a like cutting wool all right so the first step i'm taking is i'm going to give create a space hmm, that will allow me to to finish it up so i'm going to give a space so that's the space you are seeing there now so while i was closing i just have to like leave about three inches out of it before i'll close that three inches i will leave it on both the the beginning and i will leave it at the end so that by the time i'm done fixing the board i'll just have this free material to the left and right which i can simply sew together to end that particular part so to start it the part i just sew together now i will first of all use my needle and thread a very thick one make sure that it's thick so i'll first of all use that needle and thread to uh i'll use the needle and thread to uh, 
form loose stitches and then pull it together. And another very important thing is the fact that I need to take a length that I'll be working with. If, for instance, uh, you can make your ball to any length. So if you decide that your ball should be two inches, is your choice. If you decide for three inches, is your choice. You get me. So this particular one, I made uh, three inches in this one. And then there's another one I made, I created about two inches. So it's, it, 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 it totally depends on what you intend to achieve. You might, maybe when you, when you start folding or creating your balls and you find out, oh, this is too big, you can simply lose it and then uh, repeat it, reduce your size. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that you can use any size that suits you to create this ball. You can use any uh, size that you feel is okay for you to create the ball. Is that okay? All right. So I, I told you before that I'll be starting by, uh, I'll be starting with the back where I just closed now. I'll pull it together. And my thread is very thick. This is so that uh, I will not, um, the thread will not cut while I'm working. So I make sure that I always uh, form a very thick thread to work with. So this is just how I will continue creating the ball. So I will just explain something after which I will allow you to watch the video to the end. And of course, like I said, if you do have any question, don't forget to like drop it on the comment box. You can use my WhatsApp message to uh, my WhatsApp number to also reach me in case you have any tutorial that you think you cannot find on the YouTube and you feel I should make it. I will gladly do that for you. Just that you have to be patient. Whenever you send me any style, be patient. I promise that I will make them, but you just have to be patient. All right. So for this particular one now, I'm creating the ball. For me to create the ball, I first of all make sure that I'll force my uh, uh, fiber. I'll first of all make sure that I'll force this fiber into the space that I have chosen, maybe three inches, two inches. I'll make sure that I force the fiber into that space and make sure that it is tight so that it will not... Uh, So I'll just make sure that it is tight so that it will not have any space for the material to start dangling about. So I just pull it in. And for each one I make, I also uh, drag my, my thread so tight that it will not, uh, it so, so that it will not like uh, be slacky, so that it will not give way. I drag it so tight and I so much protect it so I, I protect it to the end as in until I, I tie it, I do not release my hands because when you release your hands, you see the, when you make it that way, you will not see the thread showing. And of course, you can also notice that while I'm creating the ball, I cut my thread at each point, which means it's not a continuous process. You close each end and then when you close each end, you cut off your thread. So it's not a continuous process. Uh, process at all so you close each end and cut off the thread so you can see i am forcing in the the fiber now you can see i am forcing it in and i'm using the same length okay the fact that i am not measuring does not mean that i don't know what i'm doing so but if you know that you cannot be too sure of your space then you should just mark your material down three three inches or two two inches it will not alter anything because the space you are just using to pull this part together is is not it's nothing it's just like a simple straight line space you understand all right so this is how i'll continue to create my ball okay before i forget please if today is your first time visiting my channel i so much love you you are welcome to my platform welcome to discovering this channel this is Creative Hands platform, and on this channel, everything that has to do with the head is taken care of, right from Otto Gele, Toban, Fakneto, Art, everything that, that the head needs is here. Yes, that's it. All right, so please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And if you have any comments, please don't forget to drop it. I'll respond to you. All right.
okay so please re enjoy the video i'm just going to show you how i get through with the ball and then something very important i think i should tell you if you are using three inches to create your ball if you are using three inches to create your ball if you create just eight balls eight if you are using three inches if you create just eight balls eight balls it will be enough to go around your turban but if you are using two inches for instance then you need to create about 10 balls i'll repeat i said if you are using three inches to create your ball if you create just eight balls it will be okay to go around your turban but if you are using two inches to create your ball you will need to create at least 10 balls to go around your turban so it depends on your size yes so this is the ball the ball is ready the ball is ready the ball is ready all i need to do now is how to fix it on the turban that i will be showing you now if you do not uh fix it correctly the ball uh what do i do i explain this word now the ball will you will not it will not be too visible it will it will somehow look like it's pressed to the to the base and you will not really see the beauty so because of that i don't just want to jump out of this video i decide i need to show you how to fix it you know is my concern that i some of you do send me your work on on whatsapp i love them i so much appreciate them so there was this lady that sent me some of the work she has been doing and she was like your video has helped me a lot my dear it's not me it's just god i have the mind for the people and i decide that if i must do anything i will do it well so now to fix this this ball to the cap is even the most difficult aspect of this style to fix it so please I really want you to pay attention and watch what I will be doing. I will try as much as possible to like give a proper explanation as to what I am doing. I find out that um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I find out that the thing is not really showing too well that you will be able to really understand it. But I am going to do a detailed explanation by the grace of god all right so now the fixing of the ball if you look at the ball you have the part where you tie like the part that you use to create the ball now that is the part where we use the loose stitches please do not make the mistake of tacking that place at all don't touch it now the ball itself is what you should fix and again do not allow your needle to bust out the the bust out from the ball now your fixing should be inside the turban not from the top but from the bottom of the turban so do not fix any or you can see i am touching them and shaking my hands that don't fix that part so now you fix from the inside of the turban when you fix from the inside of the turban, what you try, what you do is that you use your needle to pick the middle. The, that is, the, you pick the ball from the ball now, but the needle should not come out at all. It should not come out from the top. The needle should not come out from the top, but you find a way to, from the bottom, pick your 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 ball you understand you find a way to from the bottom pick your ball if you do not do it like that it will not come out you will not see the beauty so you find a way to pick your ball from the bottom you can see me making my hands there that your needle should not come out so you are to pick your ball you can see what i'm doing now after piercing and i know that i have picked a part of the ball i will force it and fold it from the back and bust it out from the back if you pick it out in the front all the parts you use to attack um, sorry 
you used to attach it to the base, you start seeing that hole pulling it down and the ball, the beauty of the ball will be altered. I don't know how best to explain it. I just hope that you understand what I am saying. Do not allow your needle to pierce the top. That is number one. Do not sew from the top of the ball to the bottom of the base. It will alter your ball. Find a way to from the bottom of the base. Pull, take from your ball and sew it to the base. That is the best way you can fix it. If you don't use that method, you will just find out that the work is not coming out well. That is just it. Make sure that what I have said is what you do. If not, you will not have a good result. Thank you.